In this video, we're going to be looking at the application of the gross profit method. The gross profit method has many applications in accounting. It's used in financial reporting uh, for companies that use the periodic inventory uh, system. Uh, it allows them to issue interim financial statements without the expense of having to make an actual count of inventory on the date of the interim financials. Uh, however, you cannot use the gross profit method for your annual financial reporting. If you're using the periodic inventory system, you must make a physical count. It has applications in managerial accounting for budgeting and planning, and it is frequently used in forensic accounting, as would be the case here, to help determine the cost of the inventory that is lost uh, in an insurable event like a fire or flood. So in order to use the gross profit, we're going to need to know some information. We're going to need to know the beginning inventory for a period. In this case, they're giving it as of the first of the year, January 1st, 2013. You need to be able to determine the purchases during a period and you need to know the sales during the period. Finally, you have to have an estimated gross profit ratio. For most companies, internally this is not a problem. The gross profit ratio is carefully managed. Uh, companies' strategic plans spell out the markup that they expect to make in their normal course of business and companies work very hard to maintain that gross profit ratio uh, even if prices are rising, uh, sales are flat, companies have to work to either increase revenue or decrease expenses uh, other than cost of goods sold to maintain this gross profit ratio. So we're going to take these facts and we're going to prepare our analysis. From the problem we have the beginning inventory. We're given the net purchases. Well the beginning inventory plus the net purchases is going to give us the goods available for sale. We had sales of 550,000, but remember that's not dealing with inventory cost. That is our cost to our customers. Our gross profit percentage of 25% will be used to determine the profit we made on our net sales. So we'll take our 550,000, multiply it by 0.25, and we had profit of 137,500 from our sales, which means we can now solve for the cost of goods sold. If sales minus cost of goods sold gives us gross profit, well then sales minus gross profit gives us our cost of goods sold. If we began the period with $510,000 in inventory, and we sold $412,500 worth of inventory. That means at the end of the period, our ending inventory is the goods available for sale minus our cost of goods sold. So we can estimate that the inventory that was on hand when the flood occurred was 97500 